Shalom. Shalom, shalom. I'm back. I forgot to include this in my last video. <laughs> we need to talk about the ride or die chick mentality. We need to talk about the idea of building. So many brothers want to talk about the ride or die chick who will build with them. Why can't you build with me, sis? Why do I have to come to the table with so much? You know, there is, I agree, modern women are far too entitled and feel that just by having breasts and some wop, they feel like they deserve the sweat of a man's brow. There's much, much nuance to all of these conversations that are had, that are being had these days. What I will say though, the idea of building, see this is the thing, and um, because this probably will be uploaded as a separate video, I need you to go back and look at my other video, was Cardi B right? And the idea of courtship and dating so, but what needs to be understood is he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord, the scripture says. Many are not able to unravel this verse in its deceptive simplicity. It seems much simpler than it really is. There's so much depth and many layers here in just this single verse. He who finds a wife, to find a wife, you have found a woman who is already equipped as a wife, who is already in the spirit and anointing of a wife, and not every woman is that. Let's be clear. He who finds a wife, a woman is already a wife before she is married. She has the mantle, the character, the composition of a wife, the skills of a wife. She is trained as a wife. She is equipped with the emotional and spiritual capacity to be a wife and a support and a helpmeet. She has the spiritual superiority to guide and cover a man and endow and anoint and enrich a man spiritually. Uh, it, that's a whole thing. Talking about the role of the Ezer Kanegda talking about the properties and characteristics and virtues of the Eshet Chayil, the virtuous woman of Proverbs 31, that is so misunderstood. Her capacity, her capability, the role of what we're calling the help meet, erroneously as a misnomer, the role of the, again, Eshet Chayil, the woman of valor, the noble woman, the woman of virtue, That must be its own lesson and series in itself, probably. But he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor. See, favor and purpose, favor in a man's life comes from purpose. Purpose is found with the union of a woman. So a man must already establish himself as a man you must already have the skills and capacity to provide for yourself. You, you, you're going to already have your own house and pay your own bills for yourself. You're not getting a hand clap. You're not getting applause and cookies for doing the basics that you would for your own self. You would have to pay your own bills regardless. You would have to have your own house regardless. You would have to build your own shelter and feed yourself regardless. So these skills are just part of, of being a man in this world. But finding a wife and preparing oneself to become one with a wife, that brings a larger sense of purpose, a broader, more noble sense of purpose to one's life. That's when you begin building legacy and empires. That's what we talking about building. We're not talking about, brother, you ain't got two pennies to, to put together in your pocket. And you ain't even got an air mattress to sleep on. And this woman is supposed to be down for you and build with you. That's what you talking about, brother? No, no, sir. No, sir. That's not the building we're talking about. That's not 
what a woman should ever subject herself to. That's why, again, she should be safely in her parents' home. Nobody deserves to go through that. We're not gonna we're not gonna sit here while you building yourself up because you would have to do that for yourself anyway as your own basic survival as a man. So a man should already have his own stability and security. He should already have his own home. He should already have his own financial foundation to sustain his quality of life. And even more so, expand that to be able to create space to put a woman and a family into. And then when one is prepared to that level, then one is initiated into deeper purpose by the most high. We're not talking about building towards you just having a job or even a career. With a wife, one builds legacy and empire. That's a different thing. One builds with a vision and mission. That's what submission is. I heard a wise man say once, submission is a woman being under a man's mission. Sub means under. But it's not a position of inferiority. It's a, it's a position of strength. Because just like the foundation of a house... That is the structure of support that holds that house up, that holds that vision up. So the submissive woman, her submission is under the man's mission. To be the strength that holds that mission up. The womb being the container in which his vision is crystallized and clarified. His vision of what he's supposed to be and do in the world, not just caring for himself or even her, but now being initiated into kingship, into priesthood, to do something greater for the world. Beyond just me, myself, and, my, and I, beyond me and mine, right? That's what a wife is for, to build legacy, to build an empire, to build upon a mission and a vision in purpose to impact the community, the society, the world. That's when a man finds his purpose. When he finds a wife, that's when a man is on the initiation journey. The hero's journey has been activated by the divine feminine by union with the divine feminine, then he comes to gain the world, to impact the world. So I just wanted to make that clear real quick. So this idea of the ride or die chick that builds with you, and y'all sleeping on a dirty mattress in the middle of the floor, no, bro, that's not the type of building we talking about. Yes, a wife builds with her husband a legacy. That's when a man reaches higher levels beyond just a job, beyond just a career, and reaches levels of having his own corporation, for example, his own dynasty, his own enterprise, his own land, and being able to produce from that. See, it's one thing to have your own land, but then when you are dealing in commerce and trade, that's the real wealth. When you have your own animals and livestock and you're able to produce food for other people. When you feed in not only your family, but the nations, hmm, that's the bigger thing that we are building together. So hopefully that distinction is clear. Yes, a woman builds with her husband, but it's a building of legacy and empire, a vision, a mission for humanity. And she supports that. Not just building you up <laughs> and putting, putting the down payment deposit and the first and last month's rent down on an apartment for you. <laughs> and eating ramen noodles together on the air mattress. No, that ain't building, brother. So... 
Shalom. <laughs> That's my addendum to the previous video. Shalom and blessings.